And here we are again. Um, so you were talking about putting uh, blush in the correct place, and <laughs> it reminded me wonderfully uh, of when I did um, cabaret my last semester in college, and uh, I played for a Lynn Schneider, and. I had a lot of contouring on my face, which I did myself. Uh, I'll, I swear it was on Facebook and uh, I'm not finding it right now. Like I know I uploaded it and maybe I deleted it, but that would be really bizarre. I don't know why I would do that because it had a lot of different people in it. Um, so I'll have to go find that. But yeah, apples of the cheeks. Like I had so much blush like right here. It was, it was pretty ridiculous, but I was playing an old German woman in like the four thirties or forties. So eh, it was kind of expected, <laughs> but, um, so the things I like about fall, uh, fall, fall. Uh, I used to be a winter person. Uh, I really, really loved winter, and uh, as I've gotten older, I've, I've started to enjoy the temperate a lot more than the extreme, uh, and some of that is just, you know, over the years, the joints don't like it as much, and I sound like, like I'm being ridiculous and a really old woman, but I've dislocated my right kneecap a couple of times. It doesn't always love me. Um, my hips, uh, I have a hip hike in rotation, and so it throws all the joints off in the legs. So mostly it's just my legs don't like me very much. Um, but the five things I like about fall the most, um, scarves. I love scarves so much. I, d I never used to wear them, and now they're like, I have, I went to World Market and got like the, is it Pashma? Whatever. I got those scarves, uh, like, in all the colors. I have every single color now, and I love them, uh, and they're always part of my wardrobe during the fall and the winter. Uh, they're kind of necessary. I, I didn't realize how much I missed them until I had them, um, particularly being uh, a vocalist that kind of works throughout the year, and especially in fall and winter when you start getting into um, holiday stuff, uh, picking up gigs. It's important to keep your throat warm, <laughs> which sounds weird, but I promise it's true. Um, then, uh, scarves. I love scarves. I also, uh, am, am a Brit at heart and I really love wearing, uh, mini skirts over leggings. And I think that's a British trend. Like I don't really see that much here, but I know I've seen it on BBC stuff. So, uh, and maybe it's just a Doctor Who thing, but whatever. I love Doctor Who. Uh, and it's, it's, it's all the good stuff, all the fun stuff. Uh, three, um, yeah, probably the smells. I like, I like the, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sort of a basic bitch too. I, I love the pumpkin spice stuff. It's also horrible for you though. Like actually looking at the ingredients is kind of terrifying. Uh, well, Brian and I were at, um, who's going? Okay, you're going, I'll go with you. Um, Brian and I were at the store yesterday. Sorry, that was a traffic thing. Uh, at the store yesterday, and we saw uh, the entire thing of pumpkin everything. And we're like, why is this so awful? So we just ended up getting some like pumpkin spice creamer for our coffee and um, and just, you know, putting putting a little serving in there. And that's pretty good. So I'll, I'll, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, uh, boots. I am a boot whore. I love boots. I would wear boots every single day of my life if I could. I love boots. Like short boots, tall boots, mostly tall boots. Uh, I like I like knee length and uh, 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 above the. I have one pair of above the knee, and they're freaking awesome, and I love them. And so does Brian. So it works out. Um, and finally, number five. Um, my favorite thing about fall is the way that the air feels and smells. There's something that, that happens when things start cooling off and maybe it's the lack of humidity, particularly in Texas. Um, or, or maybe it's just, you know, we're, we're heading, heading into times that I like, I can actually walk outside because, uh, Texas is hotter than balls. And that's a scientific thing because apparently uh, the, the testicles arresting are at like 96 degrees. So anything hotter than that is hotter than balls. Um, yes, I actually did learn that bit of information. I'm weird. Uh, <laughs> so when it, when it gets down into like 
the low 80s and the the 70s it's it is like heaven here it's like I just want to be outside all the time but when it actually starts cooling off and getting into the 70s and the 60s uh, everything feels crisper and cleaner and and wonderful and I just love being out in it but that's my absolute favorite thing about um, autumn uh, and I love it uh, so for you I pose the question if if money and you know society weren't weren't an issue in trying to 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 deal with life and and people and parents mostly and all that sort of shit uh you and i a little while back went and got these together and it's it's one of my favorite i have one other tattoo i know you have um yours as well uh if if money and time and issue and all that shit were not an issue issue weren't an issue you know what i mean um what what art would you get on your body like what would you do forever and ever amen this looks really creepy i look like a homuncular system no a chimera sorry i got my anime references confused anywho uh i need to get to work but uh i will talk to you later bye love and i'll try to find that picture see ya